In this video, we'll take a look at the time zone options in the settings area of Lobbit Pro Mobile for your iOS device. The time zone only affects four fields in the flight uh, log screen, and those four fields are the out, off, on, and in. Out, takeoff, land, and in times. Uh, so if you like logging takeoff and landing times, or you're an airline pilot that uh, log UI times, then uh, this time zone is important. The device always stores information in UTC. So no matter what you see or what you enter in, it's always going to go into the database within the device in UTC. So you can change time zones at any time, and you're not going to affect any of your data. Now you have three options here. Uh, you can have your data displayed and input in uh, device local, which is the local time zone wherever you're located. So we use the term device local because uh, you could be in Texas one day, uh, you can be in California in another, in New York in another. Uh, for those of you that are flying across time zones and uh, across the country, just realize that you're going to be in the local time wherever you are at the time that you're viewing and entering the data. You can also switch to UTC, and uh, obviously you'll be in uh, UTC versus any type of uh, time zone. So if you'd like to stay in a fixed uh, fixed uh, time UTC is a good option but uh, maybe you want to stay in your home time your domicile time or uh, or a time that your uh, company provides you information you can go ahead and hit custom and then you can uh, drill into the region and pick whichever region is closest to you uh, such as New York would be closest to me and then uh, so there's your custom uh, time zone option now let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, so let's just go ahead and create a quick flight log entry. So we have our UI times here. Well, let's, uh, let's just change that to... All right, so you can see that uh, it's telling us what we're in above the UI fields. Uh, we are uh, in UTC, which is local, minus 4. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's just do a now for that one. Uh, let's uh, do that, and we'll get a duration on that. We'll go ahead and save it. All right, so just uh, to keep in mind, we are at uh, 1811 and 2011. So let's go back to our settings time zone again. And we're in UTC. All right, so let's go back to local. And now we'll view that same flight. And we were 1811, now we're 1411. And it's telling us now we're displaying local. And again, it shows we're UTC minus 4. So uh, now you can edit and view in the time zone that you have set in this case is local previous was UTC or you can use a custom and uh, you can switch among those anytime you like so if you want to go local to UTC or whatnot and uh, make the device work for you and you can work in the time zone that you want and again that's only your UI fields your out takeoff landing or in